So our new book is Animal Behavior, Animal Defenses, right? And so one thing that we want to keep in mind is that we want to keep in mind like what um, close readers do, right? And remember, we have our anchor chart in the back that tells us all of them. So I want you to just really quickly think about what is one thing that a close reader does, right? And I also have it up here for y'all. So back of the room, and we also have a chart here. What is one thing that a close reader might do? I'm gonna have y'all just popcorn out some of those answers really quickly. Go ahead, what's one thing a close reader does? Highlight words they don't know. They can highlight words they don't know. If I come stand by you, that means I want you to share. Talk to their partners or groups about the text. Remember, if I come and I stand next to you, you're going to share out your answer. Go ahead. Um, if we don't know words, we sound it out. Ooh, if we don't know words, we sound it out. I'm going to scoot right by you here, my darling. Go ahead, Brianna. Ooh, we read small chunks and think about the gist. Yeah, so we can use different strategies to figure out the words we don't know. Hold on. All right, so I'm going to stop right there because I already know a lot of the things that y'all just named are what we're going exactly what we're going to do with our text today. And remember, we talked about this before, right? Sometimes to, when we're thinking about being um, being a, a good close reader, right, and we're becoming strong readers. Sometimes we're going to have texts, right, that are a little difficult for us. And the first time we read them, they might feel a little challenging. But being a strong reader means we're going to sometimes have those challenges. But we have so many different strategies that are going to help us, okay? So your first job that you are going to do is you're going to take a moment to look through your text, right? You're going to flip through, look at the pictures, look at some of the words, and you're going to think about what things you might notice and things you might wonder. And then you're after, when I tell you one, you're going to be able to then share with your partner what are some of the things you're noticing and wondering about your text. So take about a minute or so for you to just kind of flip through and look about what are you noticing and wondering about this text. What I notice is I notice that they show different animals on the pages of each cover, cover to show like examples of the animals to show like examples of the animals that will, that they're talking about on the specific page. And I just scrolled through my book and I noticed that the springbok. Hmm, I wonder if it can go faster than a cheetah because um, it goes it, in the text. It says it goes up to 40 miles, 64 kilometers an hour, and a cheetah can go really fast, but it stops quickly. So that's my wonder. So everyone, y'all all have your pages. So we're going to start off and we're going to read together. You're going to follow along silently as I'm reading 7 through 12 straight through. So I know that you're being researchers with me. Your eyes are going to be where? On your book, in your page. We're going to be listening along because I'm going to tell you, afterwards, we're going to be able to jump back in here and we're going to be finding the gist of these pages, right? We're gonna start thinking about that. So keep that in mind as I'm reading through. Like, what is this mostly about, okay? All right, so avoiding danger. A, te a cheetah um, skulks through the tall grass of the African savanna. Head lowered, she stares intently at a herd of gazelles. Her spotty coat blends in with the dry grass. Wow, we just learned so much information, right? So I want y'all to take a moment, right? Gather all that information, and I want you to think about what was the text about? What was it mostly about? So think about it first. I want you to have some think time. And even if you wanted to flip back to those pages that we just read, right, to just get a quick understanding, of what it is that we read, that's okay too. And I'm gonna give you like 
30 seconds to do so, and then you're going to share with your partner. So we're still thinking. We're still thinking. What was the text mostly about? Um, like cheetahs and gazelles. Cheetahs and gazelles. To help protect themselves from predators. They protect themselves from predators and like um. The, the, the title is avoiding danger, so it um, tries to avoid the danger that like their prey that tries to eat them. Okay, so but the only thing you don't do is don't add the cheetah, because cheetahs are predators. So most likely they won't be. What did you and your partner talk about? About animals um, hiding in uh, their so you talked about how animals hide, right? You said in the tall grass. So some animals might hide in the tall grass. Okay. What else? Let's build, keep on building on that. Hands down, hands down. Hold on. Bilal, would you like to add on or connect to what Benjamin just shared? Uh, and animals can uh, find uh, a way to hide themselves from predators. So was that something that made you, what Benjamin said, made you think that? So we would make sure. So just let us remind us that we're connecting to that idea, right, that Benjamin just shared around some animals high in the tall grass, and then some animals, right, you said go in different ways. Why do they do that? Why do the animals do that? Because we're going to get to what was this mostly about. We weren't just talking about one animal, right? Why do they do that? To protect themselves. To protect themselves. So that whole section that we read about were the ways that different animals protect themselves, right? The different ways that animals use their defense mechanisms to protect themselves. The gazelles, they stomp their feet to um, alert the other gazelles that a cheetah is here. Okay, who can paraphrase? what Adam just said, thinking about what we just read. Because remember, that was also part of it, right? When we're getting our gist and we're saying what's mostly about, we want to paraphrase and pull some of that out into our own words. Tell me, what was it mostly about? Um, I, I think it was mostly about like how um, the gazelles defend, um, avoid the danger, which is the cheetah. They can run 40 miles an hour and they can also hide in the grass. Oh, so let's, let's see who agrees with that. It was mostly about how gazelles protect themselves from cheetahs, right? And how animals are born. And then what was another part, right? Like, do animals naturally know how to do this? Yeah, yeah they just know how. So my gist for that first part, right? We read, we reread it, that little bit of chunk. We asked ourselves what it was mostly about. We talked to our partners and shared that information. So now we're going to add it to our chart. So if y'all turn to this next page in your researcher's notebook, you have a page that looks just like this. So I'm going to capture our thinking here and then keep the third page, excuse me, and then get to you here, this chart, and then you're going to also write that information in in your researcher's notebook.